Hey guys, what is up? I'm Rover and welcome back to another podcast. Today we are joined by Skymer, the one and only. Say hello. Hello. He is here. And today, what are we talking about today, Skymer? Um, well, I'm not 100% sure, but something probably related to Just Cause and phones. Yeah, Just Cause, I've got to say, I love the game. But I, I guess I was lucky because I, I had like basically the perfect system to run it. Yeah, because Nvidia didn't Nvidia didn't have many problems, unlike AMD. Mm. I mean, I basically logged on and played it, and I didn't get a single issue, and I still haven't got a single issue. It's like I don't know, because like you'd expect people to play on like 750 Ti's be able to play on low settings, but I'm not sure they can, like with a 750 Ti system. Right? I don't know. I have a 750 at my dad's, and I might try. I might bring it round my mum, shove it in my system, and see if it can. Or... Yeah, because like I, whenever I don't know, maybe it's just AMD being utilized really badly. But whenever it's happened with me, like I can I can play 60 frames per second with my 270. I mean, a 270 isn't a bad card. It's getting a little bit dated now, but it's not yeah. a bad card. That's why I'm hopefully upgrading this time. Yeah. When you get any 390? Um, hopefully, like, maybe, like, before Christmas or just after. Nice, dude. I'm looking at this one on eBay, which might go cheaply. On might... eBay? A 390 on eBay? Yeah. Would not recommend getting that. It's new. It's new? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't buy, like, um... No. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't buy an AMD card. <laughs> Off eBay. Oh. Overclocked, it overclocked, been mined on. It's been, it, it's it's been set on fire several times because they just run so hard. Yeah, like I, I would get a two ninety <gasps> off eBay because they're so cheap. Yeah, like, they're like dirt cheap now. Yeah, they're like one fifty or something like that. I think they're the best bang for the book card at the moment, but a lot of people don't want to go second hand. Yeah, me, me personally, I don't think I'd want to go second hand. I. would I don't mind because as long as it's had a decent buyer, I'd buy one like for 170 because for that price you're hopefully getting somebody who's used it, you know, yeah. reasonably and not, you know, spilt drink on it or something. <laughs> Using them like, uh, what's his name? Ah, oh, Tech Syndicate. Yeah. Uses this Logan. Titan Z. Yeah, Logan. Titan Z is a, it's a, <laughs> it's a, as a mat for his drink. It's ridiculous. Like I, I was thinking about buying a seventy nine fifty, just to, like a broken one. Yeah. Just to do. You can like, get them for uh, really cheap. You yeah. You can get them for like I think I found a six GTX six seventy on eBay for ninety nine p. Because I seen this one bidder and I'm following this bidder basically. <coughs> Sorry. And what he does, he basically gets graphics cards that are really old and he sells them for ninety nine p, but they're bidding, so like the auctions will go up in price. And so some cards he'll get really cheap on. Some cards he'll get a lot of money on. I mean, I clicked on a 670. It was a Wind Force Edition 670. And I was going to buy it to put it in my system at my dad's because it's way better than a 750. Um, and I went to go and buy it because it was 99p. It was like an hour until it had finished. Clicked on it. And then the last five minutes it went from 99p to £700. Wow. Yeah, and I was like, that's more than a 670 is worth. <laughs> so I left that. They got some crazy people on you, uh, the eBay you that just... really do. They just, they have no, like, I think, I, f I find that where you can go and look at, and there's ones that are being bidded for, which are more expensive than the ones that are being uh, yeah, sold by buy sold it now. For. And you just, you just think, why would you do that? You just think, do you really want to win that bad when you could just buy the same thing for cheaper? I mean, I guess it's almost like they kind of see it as a game and like the satisfaction of they beat everyone else who bid it at that price or whatnot. That they get they, to they get to shove their new graphics card in people's faces and saying that they paid too much for it. Yeah, sounds great, don't you think? Yeah, exa exactly. Don't like... you think? Oh, yeah. What's your thoughts on Razer? Razer? Company? Yeah. Razer, I think they're the beats of peripherals world. The, yep. Of peripherals. 
I think they spend way too much money marketing. Yep. I would agree. And and their qual their products aren't as high quality. I mean, bees. I don't personally think they're that bad. Yeah. I no, did think like, they were bad, but I watched a video on it. I think. I think they're overpriced, by, but they're not bad. I, I can't remember who's the video by, but I. It's like. They're not overpriced for what they are. It's like Apple products. You can buy them for two hundred. They no, you can build them for two hundred. I think that somebody figured out it was built for two hundred, sold for five hundred. And that's why Apple makes ninety percent of the mobile market's profits. But they spend that extra money advertising. Yeah. And brand recognition. Like everybody knows Apple. You see a tablet, it's it's an iPad. No, it's not necessarily yeah. an iPad, but people call it an iPad. I'm I'm not a fan of tablets. I'm personally not either. Like, I I don't even just... own a tablet. But... Yeah, me neither. I was looking at buying one, and I thought, why why would I need one? Yeah, I've got my phone. I don't need it. Yeah, I've got my phone, and if I want something larger, then I've got my desktop. Yeah, and if I want something portable but larger, I got my laptop. Yeah, exactly. I don't have a laptop, but yeah. Well, yeah, you know. So, what's the point in a tablet? Yeah, it's kind of just filling the market between those people who don't really want a something desktop. too powerful and don't really want a desktop or a laptop. So Saying that, the new iPad, iPad Pro is really powerful. And expensive. It's way underutilized, but it's so powerful. Yeah. The a A9X a chip is a monster. Yeah, on like mobile stuff. Yeah, yeah it is. I mean, we don't need that sort of stuff. What do you want to play, Angry Birds in 400 FPS? Yeah, 4K as well. 4K, 120 FPS. The funny thing is, the displays are usually only like something like 60 hertz on phones. Oh, yeah, yeah. Usually. Yeah. The thing is that you don't need that much. So, going back to the Razer products. Uh, everybody knows Razer. When you say you've got a gaming mouse or gaming people, would somebody say, Oh, you got Razer. Because yeah, they spend a lot of money on getting their name out there, and I've got to say, it's worked. Yeah, it has worked, and that's why everybody knows Razer. And I've got to say, their new Kraken lineup of headphones do actually sound pretty good. I'm not a fan of the Kraken, like I, I, I wasn't, but the newer ones actually sound really good. I have, um, you know, a Black Widow mainly because I got it for the same price, uh, well, a little bit lower than a um, K70. RGB. Yeah, yeah, and which I've, got is the one I've got as well. Which, but I thought at the time, well, because the colours on this uh, on the Death Stalker were more vibrant, or yeah. what they said. And you know, I'm just a bit of a rice of really the rices of computers, so I just yeah. want every everything to be bling. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. Uh, but yeah. no, I've also got a Naga, but that's because nothing else like. There was this. This was before the um, scimitar from Corsair. Yeah. Um, I got the uh, got it last year or something, and then and I have to say I've really liked using it. But with the scimitar now out, uh, I just think why would why would anyone buy a Naga anymore? Yeah. Why Why would people want it? I mean, uh, because my biggest gripe with the Naga is the buttons are too far back. Yeah. It's it's like the Corsair Void mouse yeah that, that's that's the scimitar i think oh is that what it's called yeah oh yeah it is of course it is yeah it's the void lineup and you can move it back and forth yeah adjust your thumb length yeah exactly that mm. thing is though i i don't think i'd want a mouse like that because the reason why i love the m65 which is the one i have here is because you can adjust the weights in it there's three i think five gram weights in the bottom of it and you can take them out and adjust the weight of it and there's also there's only one button on the side which is the DPI sniper button. sniper button yeah I was hoping you could program it to actually make it snipe like aim in but you can't ah. which, which saddens me uh, but it just lowers the DPI and I use it so much but I don't realize how much I use it yeah no I mean I I, I, didn't, I didn't think at the time I'd use all the buttons on the side, but when playing Minecraft, it's just so much easier to switch between weapons and that's kind of stuff from PvPing and yeah, 
I mean, it's just crazy, really. But... Oh, is that how you do it so quick? Because like when you say you line everything up, I'm just yeah. like, mm, I never really use the numbers. Yeah, that, that, I guess, that's why I do it. Because... I guess I understand now, yeah. People are always like wondering how I do that, and I'm just like, I'm a magician. It's like I am magic. I'm actually thinking about getting the a uh, razor. Uh, is is it Deathstalker the silent one? Um, yeah, they got the orange switches in there. Yeah, uh, the Deathstalker and the rate uh, the new Corsair mouse with the buttons on the side. Yeah, the biggest problem for me with the Corsair mouse though is that it's yellow, so I'm probably gonna have to yeah, get out that was my a problem. old. I was gonna spray paint it. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna get out my old spray paint tools and spray it white be, or something. Be swagalicious. Yeah, because I've got to say, I don't know why they picked yellow. I understand it's the Corsair theme, but they should have stuck with black. Or, or if anything, or they white. should they should have like made it so you could take it out and switch it for one yeah they like made. what they did with their fans yeah yeah exactly yeah like the that. plastic the white blue and red yeah like I'm, I'm a big fan of Corsair and Razor so yeah I, I, mean, I think Corsair are a very good company personally I don't like their cases that's like yeah I don't really like the case either I think they're I think they're very bold if you know what I mean yeah it's kind of like um it's like, have you seen those things where they say your first PC versus your second PC? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's like Corsair make cases for your first PC. And they're and like then very... it's like Fantex. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't, I think NZXT is like Corsair as well. They make your first cases. Yeah. And BitPhoenix. I mean, I'm a fan of the H H440 since it's kind of just quite sleek and not really... Yeah. Yeah, I think NZXT did actually make a very good case for the H440. And the S340. I've not seen the S340. I will I will link you. Please, please do. To an Amazon page. Because I was on Amazon at the time. Nice, okay. Uh, right. I mean, hardware is a very... Oh, okay, that did not work. Hardware is very... Fit. I mean, if I, now that I've built my PC and I've built several PCs, I don't think I'd have picked the same parts I have now. Yeah. Yeah, when you first build your PC, you... That like, is nice. That is so sleek. Yeah. I like it. That is nice. I think my friends thinking about buying it, but yeah. yeah. See, I don't think I would have gone with such a... a well... Crazy case. If I'd have done it... Because I, I went yeah. for the P240 NCXT. Ah, yeah. The Phantom case. Yeah. And it's nice, but there aren't there aren't any dust filters. There's a dust filter on the power supply, but there's not on the front or at the top. And there's not a ton of radiator space in between the top of the motherboard and the top of the case. So what's actually got? I've got fans on the outside of the case, which actually work for this build because the top shroud for the P240 actually has, it's like the plastic shroud on top and they fit in nicely uh, but it, it's such a weird case I guess and it doesn't have a lot of features and I could have done way better for the price yeah I think when I first got my, uh, when I got, first got a side panel I did the most stupid thing, I bought like these LEDs yeah and I put them around the window and it looked hideous Wow. I'm just looking back at myself thinking how did I think that that looked okay. And it was <laughs> red it was red LEDs. Of all LEDs I picked, I picked, picked red. red. Well, I mean I've got around 700 poundish and I'm thinking about upgrading soon. I think I'm going to wait a little bit longer. So what I want to do, I'm think I'm debating whether I should get a what new 1 terabyte hard drive, put it in there install Windows on it and sell that PC or and then get like maybe 900 pound back I don't know because people tend to buy it for more than it's worth and it yeah. I bought it for about a grand and so it's gonna go down in price anyway but you know yeah try and sell it for about that and then get in that extra 900 and put it towards a two grand PC yeah 
I mean, I'm not sure, like, at this time, I would, I'd ever think about buying a two grand PC. No, no, that, I know. That's just me personally, because of the, the way that in the price of something goes down so much yeah. compared to the performance. I so. didn't mean a two grand PC, I mean that on top of the monitor as well. Oh, right, yeah, okay, well, that makes sense if you're going for something, yeah, a monitor. That's yeah, easy. because this monitor, while this monitor is okay, just like beginning PC, it's a beginning monitor. It's a 24 inch, 1 millisecond response time, TN panel, 60 hertz. Not grey, but it's okay, it gets the job done. I mean, I have a TN panel, but I'm really proud of mine. It's um, 144 hertz, it's a Yamo one in it. Yeah, and it's just, you don't really notice it because it's not like in your face, it's kind of subtle. Yeah. And even the logo, like, with the Iyama, it's, um, like, a grey colour on black, which isn't very bold, standout yeah. thing, which... I'm thinking about getting a one, uh, what, what my dream monitor would be, 120 hertz at least, or maybe 100 hertz, 100 hertz will be fine, 100 hertz, IPS, ultra wide. You see, my biggest, I was thinking about getting an ultra wide instead of a 390, which was a stupid idea. Um, yeah, because then you couldn't run that ultra wide. Exactly, but um, uh, what, what I realize is when I record videos, I'd have to change the, the um, aspect ratio. Yeah, that's and my I problem, really, you see. I really wouldn't want to do that because it feels very constricting with the screen, seeing black sides. And... So I've debate, but debated back and forth on actually getting two monitors. Yeah. My gaming monitor and then my editing monitor. Yeah. I'm, I'm mm, probably it'd be, gonna... it'd be hard to push that many pixels as well. Because an ultra wide tends to have tw uh, 1440 by 2560. Yeah. So. Well. I have to go for dinner. So thank you for being a wonderful guest, Skymer. You're welcome. Uh, you're welcome to join anytime. Okay. Well, I will we'll come along next year or something. Next, <laughs> next year. Uh, maybe a bit sooner. Maybe well. a bit sooner. Well, if I don't have a guest next week, would you be op next time? Would you be open to next time as well? We could carry on this conversation. Yeah, why not? Cool. I'll well, see you later. Then. Thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. And bye, Rover. Bye.